Hey guys, it's JSTARS360. First off, apologize for the yellow shirt. It looks a much darker yellow in real life, trust me. Or, uh, yeah. Point is, I know the shirt is stupid, but it's what I'm wearing right now, so deal with it. I can go like this, but yeah. Point is, deal with it. So anyway, so busy life. I wanted to take them, and I wasn't originally planning on doing this video, but then I realized, because in case you don't know, Catching Fire is coming out next weekend. I know, crazy. And I still need to see Thor The Dark World, which hopefully I'll see this weekend, if not next weekend, if not next weekend. Point is, I'm going to still go see it. But anyway, so Catching Fire is coming out, and I'm still reading Mockingjay. I'm, I'm like, I've like got less than 100 pages. The problem is life's getting in the way, so I'm been slow. But point, I'm digressing. I've spent a minute rambling. Point is, before I go see Catching Fire, I thought it would be only fair, number one, to finish Mockingjay, but in the meantime, I'm going to give you guys my thoughts on the two books and the Hunger Games film. So, without further ado, let's go, and I'm probably going to put an annotation and skip here with you. So, okay, Hunger Games. So, I heard a couple of years back, 2012, movie came out. I, I'd heard about it before, once in one of my English class, honors English classes, yeah, I know I'm bragging. <laughs> but anyway, so someone mentioned it before then. A year later, a movie came out. I did not go see it because I hadn't read the book. A couple months after the movie came out, I decided, you know what? I'll check out the book. And I liked it. Now, what did I like about it? Well, first off, I really enjoyed... First off, let's talk about the message. There's a really great message here about media, the manipulation of media, you know, like the capital using the Hunger Games and the media of the Hunger Games to control everyone, the fact that Katniss has to sort of play to the audience and basically get give people what they want to get sponsors. Like, there's just some brilliant commentary about media and how audience perceives ourselves and how we present ourselves, which, again... It's a reoccurring theme throughout the books about the Capitals using it as a weapon against Katniss and Katniss is using it as a weapon against them. And it's a really great theme that only recently I'm starting to realize how brilliant it is. And it's especially relevant in our time considering how relevant media is and how much of our information we get through media. So the fact that this book is coming out and basically warning us about the dangers of how powerful a tool media or weapon media can be is great. Which is great because originally I said that the dystopia of Hunger Games is not very original. I mean, it's not. I mean, it's nowhere near as good as something like 1984, where like the entire book is just this dystopian world, just ex about experiencing and soaking up. I mean, this dystopian world. I mean, Hunger Games is obviously a bit more of a story, but again, it's they're they're it's teen literature. They aren't trying to make like something that'll be read in high schools. And for what they did, they did a really good job. I mean, engaging people and, you know, teaching them a lesson. It's very rare in literature. I'm not so rare. It's popular literature, I mean. So what else do I like about it? Well, for one thing, it's a very well-paced book. Again, the first half, really nice job setting everything up, introducing the characters, introducing the world bringing us into this world, you know, putting us right there with Katniss the whole way through. And then you have the Hunger Games themselves, which I, you really get immersed with. You really, there's so, there's so much good tension there, be, part of which has to do with the fact that you, mainly, again, isolation, Katniss is on her own. We don't, we just have her perspective. We have enough clues going on. And, She's constantly using her wits, and I love that. I love when characters are on their own and they have nothing but their wits to survive. Like, it's so there's so much more tension in a scene when a character has to survive on very little than. Uh, kind of digressing here, but that's the problem I have with the new Die Hard movies. They're so action packed. They break. I saw the free Die Hard. It broke away from the isolation of the first one. It was so action packed. There wasn't. There was more tension in the first one when he was alone. And he had just had a pistol, and he had to constantly hide, pick him off one by one. And you could feel the sense he could die at any moment. That's what you feel in the Hunger Games. You feel like Katniss can die. And you, and because they spent the first half investing and in explaining what's at stake, 
you feel invested. And as Confused Matthew pointed out, you get so invested in this that ironically you might forget at certain points that what that this entire game is wrong. And the book is very good at reminding you that this is wrong. I mean, you get all these gruesome depictions of death and basically just reminding you, this is unpleasant. We should not have to do this. But yes, so I'm kind of rambling, but yeah, again, overall, I've really enjoyed it. Second half more so than the first half, because first half's the setup and second half's the payoff. I usually like payoffs more than setup. It's, it's very rare I'll say the setup was better. Although, one exception to that rule is the Avengers. I think the movies setting up the Avengers were far more, were way more engaging than the actual Avengers, but I digress. So what I didn't I did not like about the book. Well, first off, keep in mind I'm a little fuzzy. I haven't read the book and it's been a while oh it's been like a year or two since I've read it, so I might be a little fuzzy. But again, the main thing that stands out to me is again, this isn't on the same level as nineteen eighty four. And but again, I don't expect it to be and I have appreciated the theme, the message of the book in recent recently. And again, really enjoy the world they created, although it's a ter dy dystopia, but it's engaging. But, I anyway. mean, oh yeah, I was criticizing it. So, oh yeah, one criticism I have is that we don't really get much of Gale or Katniss's home. I mean, we get it bits and pieces, but we don't really get that much of it. I mean, I'm not saying we don't get get it, but we get like a couple chapters there, and then she's off to the Hunger Games. But, so I would have liked the more of that. We get that in the sequel, so I'm willing to let that slide. So overall, really enjoyed this book. Did a great job setting up the Hunger Games when they got in there. It was a lot of fun. It was engaging. I was engaged all the way through, and overall, I really enjoyed it, and I, I was in curious as to what was going to happen next. So, Stay tuned for, I mean, unless something comes up tomorrow, I'm probably going to review Catching Fire then. Hopefully I'll have Mockingjay done soon, but yeah. Overall, Hunger Games, good book. Go read it if you haven't read it already. Or, or, you can watch, or you can watch on Netflix, because the movie's more or less the same, although I'll get into the movie later. But yeah, there it is, my first book review, The Hunger Games. So, Hunger Games book. Have you read it? What do you think of it? Do you like it? Do you hate it? Comment below, let me know, and I know I'm copying Jeremy Johns, but it works, so, yeah. Subscribe if you like what you see, and stay tuned for Catching Fire. This is JSTARS360, signing out.